Hey guys, quick back chemistry basics here. Let's talk about Michaelis Menten equation. When the enzyme acts on the substrate, the substrate gets converted into product and the product is finally released. Hence, with respect to time, the concentration of substrate decreases and the concentration of product increases. Taking slope of the graph gives the information about the rate of reaction. There is change in the concentration with respect to time, hence we can also call this as velocity of the reaction. Now when we measure velocity of reaction at different substrate concentration, then what we get is a graph which looks like this. If we observe this graph carefully, then what we can see is that the first part of the graph is linear where the rate of reaction increases linearly with the substrate concentration. This linear increase is called first order reaction kinetics. Then the graph shows a plateau region where the increase in substrate concentration no longer increases the velocity of the reaction. At this stage, the velocity has reached maximum velocity or Vmax. This plateau region is known as zeroth order reaction kinetics, which means velocity is independent of substrate concentration. Now the first order reaction kinetics can be explained easily with the equation y is equal to mx plus c, where y is the velocity, m is the slope, c is the intercept on y-axis and x is the substrate concentration. However, this equation cannot be used for the plateau region as the velocity is independent of the substrate concentration. And this is the reason why we need to derive michaelis menten equation. Now, the michaelis menten equation explains this curve mathematically. The aim of this equation is to establish a mathematical relation between V0, Vmax and Km such that both first order and zero order kinetics can be explained. So here we go. The enzyme acts on the substrate and forms enzyme substrate complex. This is a reversible reaction under equilibrium. This is also known as equilibrium assumption. According to law of mass action, E into S into Kf is equal to Es into Kr. If we take the ratio of Kr to Kf, then what we get is the disassociation constant. The disassociation constant is represented by the term Kd. Besides equilibrium assumption, there is a second assumption known as pseudo-steady state hypothesis. According to this, the concentration of Es complex remains constant during enzymatic reaction. When we say the concentration of ES complex remains constant, this means rate of formation of ES is equal to rate of breakdown of ES complex. ES is formed by the forward reaction between enzyme and substrate. Therefore, ES formation is equal to Kf into E into S. ES complex is broken down into E and S or E and P. Therefore, ES breakdown is equal to Kr into ES plus Kcat into ES. As ES formation is equal to ES breakdown, we can say Kf into E into S is equal to Kr into ES plus Kcat into ES. Now on the right hand side we can take ES common so that Kf into E into S is equal to ES into bracket Kr plus Kcat. So taking the ratio E into S upon ES is equal to Kr plus Kcat divided by Kf. This is known as Km or michaelis menten constant. 
Now let's go back to our aim. Our aim is to establish a mathematical relation between V0, Vmax and Km. Now E into S upon ES is equal to Km is the one equation that we have. Now we need to think about the equation for the velocity and maximum velocity Vmax. The velocity of the reaction is dp by dt, rate of product formation per unit time. And product formation depends on this association of ES complex. So velocity can be expressed as V0 is equal to K cat into ES. In this system, there will be some free enzyme molecules which are not bound with the substrate and other enzyme molecules bound with the substrate. So total enzyme concentration can be given as E0 is equal to E plus ES. Now watch carefully, when all enzyme molecules are bound with the substrate, there is no free enzyme left. Hence, E0 is equal to ES. As all enzyme sites are occupied by the substrate, the velocity reaches maximum velocity or Vmax. Therefore, Vmax is equal to Kcat into E0, where E0 is equal to ES. Now, let's rearrange the equation to get one single equation. E0 is equal to E plus ES. Taking ES on the other side, we get E0 minus ES is equal to E. This E can be replaced in the equation of Km. Therefore, Km is equal to E0 minus ES into S divided by ES. Now let's multiply S with the term E0 minus ES. So we get Km is equal to E0 into S minus ES into S divided by ES. Now let's rearrange ES and the equation becomes something like this. Km is equal to E0 into S upon ES minus S. Now the term E0 can be replaced as Vmax by Kcat. And the product of Kcat and ES is V0. If we take minus S on the other side with Km, then what we get is Km plus S is equal to Vmax into S divided by V0. And finally, if we rearrange Km plus S and V0, then we get V0 is equal to Vmax into S upon Km plus S. Now let's try to understand this equation. When the substrate concentration is very large, the value of Km will be very less as compared to value of S. Hence, Km can be ignored when compared to S. So the equation now becomes V0 is equal to Vmax into S divided by S. Hence, V0 becomes equal to Vmax. Now let's consider the case where V0 is half of Vmax. In this case, half of Vmax becomes equal to Vmax into S upon Km plus S. If we rearrange this equation, then what we get is Km is equal to S, which is nothing but the definition of Km the substrate concentration at which velocity becomes half of Vmax.